Welcome to this mathematics lesson. I'm Eric. In this video, we are going to learn how to write large numbers in expanded form using powers of 10. To begin, it is crucial that you have a thorough understanding of place value. Let's review by looking at a large number written in standard form. Our large number is 1,234,567,000 892. Remember, when we identify each digit's place value in a whole number, we start with the rightmost digit and work our way left. In this number, 2 is in the ones place, 9 is in the tens, 8 is in the hundreds, 7 is in the thousands place, 6 is in the ten thousands, 5 is in the hundred thousands, 4 is in the millions place, 3 in the ten millions, two in the hundred millions, and one in the billions place. Keeping place value in mind, we can write our large number in expanded form by representing each individual digit as a product of its place value. We'll start with the one in the billions place value. One multiplied by one billion. Notice how I'm using my graph paper and I'm just writing each square um, representing one space in this uh, place value so that I can just easily represent and line up my work. So I've got one times one billion. Next, we'll move on to the two in the hundred millions. So we'll write two multiplied by 100 million. So 100 million with all of these zeros. Next, looking at our number, we have three in the 10 millions. So we'll write three multiplied by 10 million. Notice how we're getting smaller as we work down through the place value. So 10, 10 million, there we go. And then four in the millions. So four times 1 million. Next, we'll look back at five in the hundred thousands. So we'll write five times 100,000. And we're writing five times 100,000 because that's its location in place value is 100,000. And six in the 10 thousands. So six times 10,000, because six is in that 10 thousands in the place value. And if you're following along, we're now going to do seven in the thousands. So seven times 1,000. Getting quicker now as we go. Eight in the hundreds place value. So eight multiplied by 100. And nine in the tens place value. So nine multiplied by 10. And finally, two in the ones place value. So two multiplied by one. If we were to add all of our numbers together here, we would find that the sum of all of this will equal our number in standard form. So that's a one way that you can go through and check your work. Now what we can do is actually list our numbers as the product of the multiplication and write it in standard form. So starting up here, one times one billion is 1 billion. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros. To that, we're going to add 2 times 100 million is 200 million. 200 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. And to that, I'm going to add, so I'm just going to go down to the next line because I'm out of room. So I'll put our dots here, meaning we're continuing. And to that, we're adding 3 times 10 million is 30 million. So 30 million, 1, 2, 3, 4, oops, 5, 6 zeros. Then add to that, 4 times a million is 4 million. 
So four and six zeros. And I can see I'm going to run out of room again. So I'm just going to add and then continue down on the next line once again. So we've just done four million. Now we're going to go five times 100,000 is 500,000. 500,000. Add to that. So plus we're going to do six times 10,000 is 60,000. 60. And I'm still just trying to keep everything in line, just writing one number in each square. Seven times a thousand. So we're going to add seven times a thousand is seven thousand. Plus, do I have enough room here? I think so. Eight times a hundred is eight hundred. So eight hundred plus, and you'll probably have to do on your page just what I'm doing here, because unless you're working on a very large, long piece of paper, you'll probably run out of space. You'll have to go down to the next line. So nine times 10 now is 90 plus two times one is two. And so there we have our number in expanded form. Writing a large number in expanded form is really long and it takes a lot of space. We can shorten this by writing our number in expanded form using powers of 10. To do this, we are going to write each individual digit multiplied by 10 to an exponent. So let's call each individual digit n. We're going to multiply n by 10, and that's our base, and that base is going to have an exponent. The exponent is going to be equal to the place value spaces after the digit. Let's take a look. Here is our number in standard form. Remember, we had 1,234,567,000 892. Let's write this number again in expanded form using powers of 10. So we'll start with our first number. In this case, it's the one in the billions position. And so what we'll do is we'll replace n with one, multiplied by 10, multiplied by 10. And for exponent, we're just gonna count the number of digits behind one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that tells us what our exponent is. So one times 10 to the exponent or to the power of nine. To that, we're going to add our next one. So two is in the two millions place. So we're going to write two multiplied by 10. So in this case, we're replacing n with two multiplied by 10, and our exponent is now the number of digits after the two. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our exponent here is eight. To this, we're gonna add, so plus, our next number is three. So three times 10, and we'll count the number of digits after the three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So our exponent is seven. I'm gonna write it up there. Plus, next number is four in the millions position. So we write four times 10. And our exponent now, again, number of digits after the four, there's three, four, five, six. So it's to the power of six. Plus, continuing on, five times 10. And how many digits after? You might see a pattern forming here with our exponents, nine, eight, seven, six. Well, if you think the next one's gonna be five, let's just double check. One, two, three, four, five digits after the five. So our exponent is five. We're running out of space. I'm just gonna write our three dots. Write our three dots again here. And I'll add the plus, because we're continuing to add. So we're gonna add our six now. So six times 10, we'll fix this times 10 to the power of one, two, three, four, plus seven times 10 to the power of three, because there's three more digits to go, plus 
8 times 10 to the power of 2, which is only two digits left, plus 9 times 10 to the power of 1, because there's only one digit left. Finally, plus 2. Now we can write this as times 10 to the power of 0, which is just 1. So it's just like writing 2 times 1, which of course is 2. And so this is how we write our number in expanded form using powers of 10. Let's try a few quick examples just to make sure we are understanding what we're doing. So for example number one, let's try uh, 7,429,562. So to write this number in expanded form, we'll start with 7. Let's write 7 times 10. So thinking of our formula, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 is our exponent because there's 6 digits after the 7. To this, we're going to add 4. It's our next number times 10. So again, thinking of our formula. And there are 5 numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, after this 4 so 10 to the exponent 5 plus 2 times 10. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers after. Let's so write 4 as our exponent plus. Next number is 9. We just did the 2, so now we're going to do the 9. 9 times 10 to the power of 3. Three. If you're looking, we have one, two, three digits there. So to the power of three plus five times 10 to the power of two plus, and I'll just continue down to my next line. So on my next line here, just so I'm continuing, plus six times 10 power of one plus 2 times 10 to the power of 0, which is just like multiplying by 1. So there's our first example. We'll try one more just to show you something a little different. Uh, let's try example 2. And we're going to look at a number that is 149 million 600 thousand. So 149,600,000, which is the approximate distance from the Earth to the Sun. So in this case, we'll write it again using expanded form. So we'll start with our 1. So our 1 multiplied by 1, 2, or sorry, multiplied by 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1 times 10 to the power 8 plus 4 times 10 the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 9 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay, there's 6 after, plus 6 times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And that's where we're going to stop with this number because the rest are all zeros. So you don't have to write 0 times 10 to the power of 4 plus 0 times 10 to the power of 3 and 2 and 1 and so on because they're all just zeros here. So when you're expanding this out, you would just fill in the remaining spaces in your place value with these zeros. Writing numbers in expanded form using powers of 10 shows us the value of each digit in the number. It helps us understand what a number really means by defining each of its digits. If you learned something new in this video, let me know by clicking that like button. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe. You won't miss any of my excellent videos and you will help my channel continue to grow. Until next time, be well and keep learning.